What's up outsiders? Want to learn how to use Avenza Maps? In this video, I'm going to show you all of the basic features, how to find and import maps, and how to create a feature and navigate to it. I'm Mike, and this is Outside Chronicles, and I love everything outside. And if you do too, you're going to want to click that subscribe button, hit that bell, so you don't miss any future videos. Avenza Maps a little bit different than your traditional GPS mapping app, like Gaia GPS, Google Maps, or Onyx. Those apps come with what's called a base map. When you launch them, you're presented with a map, whether it's a street map, a satellite map, or a topo map. You can change the views, add new maps, but typically those are created and curated by the vendor. Avenza Maps allows you to import your own maps in file formats called geospatial PDFs, GeoPDFs, and GeoTIFFs. These are special files with a bunch of GPS and mapping related information cooked into the files. Several go government organizations like the New York State DEC, USGS, and the National Park Service actually gives these GeoPDFs away for free. There's also some paid versions from the Finger Lakes Council and NetGeo. First thing we're going to do is find a few of these geospatial PDFs and import them into Avenza. When you launch Avenza Maps, you don't see any actual maps loaded. The free version of the app allows you to download up to three maps at a time. They have a subscription that will bring that up to an unlimited number. If you want to upgrade, you just go to Settings, Upgrade, and you can upgrade your account right there. So let's import some maps. We can start by going to the Maps tab at the bottom left. And you can grab maps from a bunch of different locations. I'm going to show you how to import from the store, a storage location, URL, and bonus from a QR code. So let's import maps from the store. So the first thing we're going to do is click on the store tab at the, on the bottom of the screen. And by default, it's going to search your location. And you can see I'm in Erie County, and there's a bunch of different maps from different organizations. There's county maps, there's state maps, there's USGS. So I'm just going to pick one map and let's do the Eternal Flame, a pretty popular trail here in Western New York. So I'm going to click download and you can see it's processing. And now I can open the map. The map just is displayed as a primary map and I can move it around and do some things, but we'll come back to that later. So I'm going to go back to the store and show you a couple more features. So by default, it searches your location. You can actually go in and search anywhere you want. So let's say that we are going to go to the Great Smoky Mountains. And we can search. And you can see it presents you with a list of the different maps there. There you can see the, the Net Geo bundle for the Great Smoky Mountains. And I can see that there's a lot of National Parks maps for that location. What I can do is download the map. I'm going to actually look for this Mount LeConte. It was a pretty cool trail when we went there. But you can also kind of take a look at it from the maps view. And you can see I'm presented with a whole bunch of numbers. And as I drag and zoom in, um, I can see I'm staying in Gatlinburg. And it looks like there's a couple trails kind of near me. So I'm going to zoom in right there. And then you can just click those and check it out. And cool, that's Mount LeConte. So that is the National Park Service map for that particular area. And what I can do is I can click Map Extent and it'll show me the area that the map actually covers. And then they make it really easy. I'm just gonna click Download. It's a little bit bigger of a map, so it takes a couple seconds. And now I can open that map in my map viewer in Avenza Maps and you can see all of the trails, it's a pretty nice topo map that they give you with all of the trails for the national park. So they make it really, really easy and accessible to get these maps. Okay, so let me show you another method that we can use to import a map. So I'm gonna go back to my main screen. I'm gonna hit plus. And this time we're gonna import it from a different storage location. And as you can see on my phone, I have a bunch of different locations. I got my iCloud account actually on my phone, the Google Drive, or Dropbox. So I found this map at the New York State DEC website for Boyce Hill State Forest. And you can see it's a geo PDF. So what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna click on it to open it. 
And then I'm gonna actually save it in my Dropbox, save to Dropbox, save. Okay, so now it's uploading to my Dropbox. I can go back over to Avenza and I can search for that particular map. And I see I have a Boyce Hill map. I'm gonna click on that and it should import into the My Maps. Perfect. So I have my Boyce Hill New York State DEC Geo PDF map imported right into Avenza. Okay, so I'm gonna now show you how to import a map using the URL method. This method kind of saves you an extra step. You don't have to download it to your device. You can actually pull it right from the web if it's available. So the last option here is tap to enter a URL of a map. And I already have it in there. I'll show you how you just copy it from the DEC site. I'm gonna just go back here. And that same link that I used to download it, I'm just gonna say copy. And I can go back to here and just paste that link. I'm gonna click go. And it will download that map and put it in the list of my maps. Again, a pretty easy way to get maps into this app. They, they make it easy for you. As if those three methods weren't easy enough, downloading from the store, downloading from Dropbox or your local file system, or from a URL. I'm gonna show you a way that's even faster and easier, but it only works if your provider gives you a QR code to the map. And I've actually seen a lot of these QR codes at trailheads um, where you can just walk up to the trailhead, snap the QR code and get the map. As part of the Western New York Hiking Challenge, I'm now providing QR codes in the challenge packet. So what you wanna do is just go back to your main map screen, click that plus like normal, and this time click that QR code icon in the top right. And that should bring up your camera. And then you're gonna just click that QR code with your camera. And like magic, your map is gonna be loaded in your My Maps. There it is, Boyce Hill. And we have two Boyce Hill maps and I'm gonna show you why we have two of those. One is provided from the Western New York Hiking Challenge. The other one's provided by the DEC. So now that we have our two maps in there, let's go and actually use them. So let's click in the Boyce Hill and we're presented with the map and we can use our finger to scroll around. You can also use your pinch to zoom and zoom out. And if you see that target in the middle, that's kind of like your mouse pointer. So I'm gonna show you a couple of the GPS functions here. And if you click on the ellipses in the bottom right, you bring up this menu. So the first thing we're gonna do is draw and measure. So I'm gonna take and put that mouse pointer on the trailhead, and we're gonna just roughly sketch a route here. And you can see I'm just clicking and dragging that mouse pointer. So we have that mouse, that route, and let's say we screwed up, we can just cancel out of that and it's no longer there. Uh, but that can be handy to figure out a distance. The next function is to record a GPS track. And you can hit start recording, and this will give you your route on the map so you can actually track back and save it for future reference. It gives you a lot of data about your speed and elevation, things like that. I'm gonna show navigate to destination here really quickly. We're gonna come back to this. So we, we can navigate to a feature, but you see we don't have a feature on the map. We're gonna to get to that soon. We can actually enter coordinates. So if we knew the coordinates of, let's say, the challenge landmark or the lean-to that we wanna to go to, we could type in the coordinates there. Or you can just create a route if you wanted to. And this works exactly the same way as our measure distance where we're clicking and dragging the route and unlike Gaia GPS this doesn't really snap to the trail so it's a little bit hard to do so I'm going to just cancel out of that for now and I'm going to skip over plot GPS because that's in the pro account also monitor geofences um, what you can do is you can just open this really quickly in Google Maps and it, based on your GPS location of that uh, target it's gonna point you right there on the Google Maps. So let's go back into Avenza. And there's the final thing I wanna show you guys is the plot photos. This is a pretty cool feature. So we're gonna plot a photo 
and it's going to go and find all of the photos that are geotagged for the location that you're in. So I'm going to just create a uh, place mark is what they call them by importing this photo of the lean-to. So we're going to import that and since it's geotagged it's going to have it right on where the lean-to is. Very cool. So I can click on that point and now I can go into some information about that place mark. So I can rename it. We'll call it lean to. And we can change its symbol. Um, I'm just going to change it to a different color. Let's say, let's make it blue. If we wanted to, we could add more photos, add a description, and you can see the latitude and longitude and time of when uh, we added that place mark. And if you look at the top right, we can click on that and say navigate to, and it's going to let want to navigate to that lean-to. So I'm going to stop that navigation and now we can go back into navigate to a destination and now we can navigate to a feature. We're going to go into our photo library and we can select the lean-to and now we can navigate to that. And if you notice on the compass there's three arrows. The red is north, the orange is the course that we want to take to get to the lean-to and the blue is the bearing to the lean-to. So if you were following a route, that orange arrow would follow the route and the bearing would be a straight line to your destination. All right, so now I wanna show you something pretty cool about the place marks and other features that you create on the map. This could be a, a route or when you measure the distance, it creates what's called layers. And you can see I have a photo library layer of that lean-to and it's really just the same menu that we saw before. And if you look down here, we can look at the attributes. And I'm going to click Edit. And we can see what it is. It's a photo library. And what's really important here is it says it's linked maps. And it's on the Boyce Hill map. And if you remember, I downloaded both a Boyce Hill map for the Western New York Hiking Challenge. And I also downloaded one from the New York State DEC. And since they're geo-referenced and geospatial PDFs for the same location, we can just use a layer and share between those two maps. So what I'm going to actually do is click the link to maps, and I'm going to link that Boyce Hill uh, DEC map to this layer. So I'm going to apply that, and now I'm going to go back to my maps, and here is the challenge map with that lean to place mark. And I'm also going to go into the DEC map, and now we have that same lean-to place mark in that map. So it's really handy if you're going to use multiple maps. Let's say we want to use the DEC map and also a USGS map for that location. So all of the features that you create for your route and waypoints will all be shared between those two layers, as long as they're geo-referenced to the same location. I think that's a really powerful feature of Avenza, and uh, you can really take advantage of it to switch between maps really quickly while you're on the trail. So going along with that idea of layers and features being shared between maps, one of the most powerful features of Avenza maps that I think that um, many people can take advantage of is to create your own layers. And what you can do is you can import different layers from a KML or a GPX. So you can grab a route from somebody else. Um, you can go to CalTopo, one of my favorite tools, create a map right in CalTopo, all the routes, all the place marks, and you can actually import that right into Avenza Maps, either as GPX or KML, or get this. CalTopo actually exports its maps when you go to the print function as a GeoPDF. So you can grab a map that you created in CalTopo, import it directly into Avenza, and it'll be geospatially aware, and uh, you'll have all of the GPS data when you go to that location. I think that's pretty cool. So what I've done is, for the Western New York Hiking Challenge, I've gone through and created uh, geospatial PDFs for all of the trails, and I included a QR code in the packet. So participants can now just use that QR code download the PDF, and they're going to be uh, able to navigate the different trails pretty easy. This is really great for new hikers, and even some of us seasoned hikers, we get turned around every once in a while. 
So I hope you liked this video. If you did, be sure to click that like button. If you wanna see other how-tos, gear reviews, outdoor adventures, be sure to subscribe to my channel. That's it for now. I'll see you guys outside.